Good evening. It's October, so you know what that means. It means dark October stitching. Is everyone ready? <laughs> First of all, I want to tell you, my name is Debbie. This is the North Carolina Stitcher. Welcome to my channel, October the 1st, 2019. Boy, this year is flying by. Um, so I'm here for my September sampler update. Uh, you know, end of end of month wrap up for my September September, and uh, just tell you what all I've been up to. Got just a teeny bit of haul. Got some whips I'm going to show you. All my whips that I worked on in no in uh, September, and uh, the things I want to work on and for my dark October stitching. So, alrighty. Uh, first of all. I stitched every day in the month of September. Here's my, I have this book. This is from Needlework Press. It's called Book of Days. I love this thing. And hopefully they'll come up with one for 2020 because I want to get another one. I, have, I write down on this over here, on this part, I write down all my new starts and, and what date I started them on and my finishes right here, which piddly little, two little bitty two finishes, but that's better than nothing. And uh, so... I had, uh, for the month of September, I had 10 new starts. I finished two things. I have the total of 9,270 stitches for the month. And I have two FFOs. So before I get into my whips, I'm gonna show you uh, my pictures I got back from Hobby Lobby today. This one right here is the one I did for my brother. This is one of my FFOs for this year, and I mean for this month, and it's uh, for his wedding. For my brother and his partner to have and to hold. But this is by uh, Country Cottage Needleworks. So they did a pretty good job on this one. I really liked it. I had to let them redo when I when I got it. It was further on this side than this side. So they took it out and found out that the mat had shifted. So it's kind of glary. So and the other one I have is my big weavers. Tapestry band sampler that I did last year, and uh, it might be kind of hard to show this one to you, so I'm going to turn you around, and so I can show you my big one. This is my chair and my bookcase. So let me stand up, and I will lift this up and show you. Excuse my. It's 31. This is 31 inches long. I think they did a fair job. Uh, some of the stretching is, it kind of, uh, kind of goes down a little bit. But this is from Magical Sales Stitch Along from 2018. I changed the bottom there, took out the legs of those two little middle, whatever those kind of creatures are. Put my initials and the date. So, these are the first things I've ever had framed from Hobby Lobby. So, so now I just got to figure out where I'm going to hang this one. And I'm happy about that because I want to have some hanging in my house that I did. So, there we go. Those are my two finishes, my two FFOs for the year. And uh, so I'm going to show you all the samplers and all the things I worked on last month. And I'm going to start out, which I know you've seen most of these, but uh, this is the, oh, this is when I started the, this weekend. And I don't know why I put it off for so darn long because I am enjoying this so much. This is Merrily Merrily, We Walk in Spring by Blackbird Designs. I'm doing this on 40 count uh, country mocha. And uh, there I was where I got. I stitched on this Sunday night, I do believe. This is like 600 stitches though. But man, I am enjoying this. I, I did have a couple of little boo-boos where I had to backtrack and, you know, cut some, you know, frog some stitches, but not a lot. But luckily, I was able to, I noticed it before I went, went too far with them. So I got that one going. I left it in the Q-snap because I'm going to work on it some more here in a few days, hopefully. But I don't know. I got Dark October to, to do, so you never know about that. What I'm going to do, I may decide I'm just going to take it out of the key snap and put it up for the month. Okay, here is Modern Folk Embroidery, the deer sampler. I 
that's really cute. I like that. This is one that came in one of my boxes from Sassy Jack's Stitch Reads, their Jack Stash. That's as far as I got, which is not that far, but I think this one, once I start working on it, will go pretty fast. So I'm excited. I'm really excited about giving this one over here to my brother and his partner. I hope they like it. Because it was it was fun and I enjoy it. I really enjoyed doing that. Okay, here is My hands across the sea, Harriet Salt. Yeah, Harriet Salt. I love, I love Bristol samplers. She's working on one now. It looks really awesome. I can't wait to see what it looks like when she gets done with it. I don't really need to buy any more, but there's my start. What I think I'll do is when she comes out with the next one, I'm going to make myself make sure I finish either this one or Louisa Coolamore before I buy another one. I think that's a good, pretty good goal. This one's a big one, but if I can do that, then I'm going to be pretty, pretty happy. Here is another one I started uh, this weekend or sometime this past week since I made my last video. This is uh, from the Stitcher Hood. It's called Welcome Quaker Welcome. It's just done. It's a monochrome. It calls for like DMC. Well, black. It calls for black. But I decided I was going to be a, you know, just do my own thing. And this is done in Silks for You PR 148. That's what it looks like. Beautiful, beautiful thread. And here is as far as I've gotten. This is on 32 count vintage Sahara Belfast linen. I think that is really pretty. I love that thread. And I've, I got the thing and I, I wound it up into little like skeins so it would be easier to handle those. Uh, <laughs> those hangs can be a pain sometimes, but you sure can't beat the value. I do not know why, but every shirt I have is pretty big around the neck. And every one of them Plus slides off of this darn left shoulder. And I don't know if it's maybe I hold this arm down. It's irritating as heck. And I, I know in my videos I sit there and pull and pull and pull on the shorts constantly. And I try not to do that. But it's really hard when they're so constantly sliding down your arm. Or sliding down your shoulder and off your arm. It's irritating. So there's that one. Here is... My famous words here is <laughs> this one is Agnes Alderson 1903 and I haven't done anything more since the last time I showed it to you but I thought I'd show it to you out of the Q snap that was not a very big one I think it'll finish up pretty quickly so. I had a couple of bags in my from Mama Joan in my cart at uh, on 123 Stitch, not 123 Stitch, Etsy. And I really wanted to get those, and I've got several of her bags. I love her bags. Oh my gosh, they're so well made, so pretty. But I, I have these, and so I'm just gonna stick with this and not order any more bags for a while. This is The Little Stitcher by Kathy Barrick. A really cute little pattern and small and I uh, am doing a conversion of this well it calls for MPIs and no I'm not doing that so I'm using for the brown I'm using color and cotton mahogany for the green I'm using uh, Carrie's creation valley green and for the red, I'm using Carrie's Creation Old World Red. Love that red. It's one of my favorite reds, it's, but unfortunately, I can't get them anymore. And that's what I got on that one. And this is a 40 count country mocha. You know, that is one of my very favorite fabrics, the, the country mocha. I, I have some in uh, 32 count and 40 count. Those are my two go-to. Sizes when I'm doing 
an even weave for linen. And um, I really like third or tooth count uh, Queen Anne's Lace, too. That's really fun. I mean, really good. And, it, and, it, and it goes with so many different kinds of designs. This is the Stitch on Me Stitch Along. And here's the pattern for the grid. Now, they she sent out the first part today. I haven't got a chance to stitch it yet. But she's going to be one a day for the next 30 days. But they're small. You see how small those little things are? But here's the... The frame for it. Well, I really didn't give you a chance to really look at that. <laughs> Someone said I was going too fast. I might be going a little bit too fast. I haven't got all that outside done. Some people put like little bats and spiders and stuff. And I, you know, this one up here says, I think Halloween. And this one on the original says the date. But I had not really decided exactly what I'm going to do. But I'm going to try to catch, keep up with each day's stitching on this. Because it's, it, it's not going to take long because it's really small pieces. And it seems like it's fun. It's a free stitch along. I have the links and link to the group in my other last my last video. So if you want to know how to get to that, then you just uh, look at that. And if you have any questions, just uh, send me a comment. Here is Tree of Life samplings, and this is um, Brick House 1831 Brick House. I started this one over the weekend also. The picture is a shiny picture so it's kind of hard. I might have a little bit of glare on it. Now I'm doing this with the called four threads and this is on 40 count light mocha Newcastle linen. And this is my big start. <laughs> oh, I started this last night. But <laughs> and I, like I said, I need the call four threads on this so it's not too bad. I already had them so I already had kids this up. I don't know when. I think when I bought it, I kitted it up, so it's not bad. So I had to buy any new threads for that. This is my. This, one. this is my birth sampler for my son's girlfriend. Now I worked on this quite a bit this month because I really want to get this done. The baby's due the last of a uh, week or. or second middle week of uh, November and I'm working on the border man that's a lot more stitching than I thought it was I got <laughs> so but I've got a one side almost done of the border so I still got to go down a little bit more there and then there's two more little lines there to put the birth date up here is where you put the name I think that's really cute. This is from uh, Happy Nest. H-A-P-P-I-N-E-S-S-T on Etsy. She has a lot of cute little designs in her shop. All right, here's one that I decided, I don't know, when I was going through all my whips and all my things to show you my whip parade or my sampler parade, I found I come across this one. I hadn't worked on it in a long time, probably over a year. It's this one right here. My soul is fed by the sunflower seed. And uh, I this calls for uh, Gentle Arts, and I had done a conversion to Vicki Clayton's. And I tell you what, I love the threads. I think they're, they look so good. I, man, I wish she was still in business. <laughs> but here's where I've gotten so far on it. I worked on the words. I had the I already had this part done, and so I worked on the words a little bit. So there's really not a whole lot left to do. Uh, the bottom row of, of words, the little design underneath it, and a little bit of the border. So, But if you can see what that, especially that uh, urn there, it's, I love the variegation and all that. It's just so pretty. And this, and this blue, well, every bit of it, I just love all those threads. So, And I'm going to start trying to do that more. It's just, you know, switch them out for the one I've got. And i got a lot of Vicki, you know, quite a few Vicki Clayton. I'm not anywhere near like Abby Bella Stitch, but I used to be in her uh, third of the month club for a couple of years. And I got the, uh, the premium. I love that, the premiums. Okay, I have one more. And that is 
the sample that I found. It's a freebie, and it's Juliet Levesque or Levesque or something like that. And uh, I'm doing this on 32 count Queen Anne's lace. And this is the thread I'm using. This is a uh, Threadworks, and it's 10891. You know, theirs don't have their names on their on their threads. It just has the numbers. But this is a really beautiful red, as you can see by. And I always get the 20 yard skeins. You can get a five yard skein and a 20 yard skein, and I always get the 20 yard. Cause I like to have lots of thread when I'm, you know, I want to make sure I have as, as much as I need. So that's as far as I got on. I mean, that's all my whips for the month of September. And uh, so um, I'm really happy with all I got done there. And let's see. I guess that's all I got there. So now I'm going to come to my October stitching. I have a couple of, uh, I have three whips from previous years that I want to work on. My oldest one that I have is a, the very first Halloween I, I started. And this is from Ship's Manor. It's Mystery Ta uh, Halloween, Mystery Halloween Town South. This started, this was in, I think, 2017 maybe. I don't know if I got a date on He's, There's a date on here or not. I don't think there is. But if there is, no, there's not. Yeah, 2017. And I started this with high hopes of, of really, you know, but it's got, it's, it's semi uh, confetti which I don't really care for, but I could handle that. It's just, I, it calls for the light, light effects, two calls of light effects. And that is the most hateful thread I've ever tried to work with. This is, uh, the light effects are right up here, and then this is like a river. And once still get that river done, that's most of it. But that's as far as I got. This thing's pretty big. My, th you know, here's my fabric is, you know. <laughs> but I would like to work on this and get. I've seen some people just have with the, with theirs done, and there it's really it's really looks nice. I like it. But I don't know how far I'll get with that. And this is one I started last year. This is my Lala Studio uh, uh, Halloween Quaker. And I, I'm doing our 40 count murky, which is the call for fabric with the call for threads. This is how far I got. And being a Quaker, you know, I'm loving this. This is when I decided that I needed, before I, I used to do uh, my stitching on 40 count with just my mag eyes and my regular light. But once I started trying to stitch on this murky 40 count, so I had bought this light, my lamp, my, my magnifying lamp, back when I was watching, Ivana had talked about it. And I bought it, but it just sat behind my chair. I never tried to use it. <laughs> I don't know why. I'm one of those procrastinator people. I don't never, you know, I, I buy things and then it sits around. Well, you're never going to use it. Yeah, well, I'm going to get to it. So I decided to use that. And it's, oh my gosh, it was, it was definitely life-changing, stitchy life-changing for me. And I love it. And I even use it for about everything, so every count. <laughs> and this one here is when I started. Uh, I'm not sure exactly when I started it, but probably 2017, maybe early 2018. This is Whispered by the Wind Beneath the Harvest Moon. And uh, here's. I have a piece of fabric that was a little bit too big. And luckily, I did because I ended up making a big mistake. And so I, ended, I just cut it off the top part. <laughs> instead, of, instead of frogging all that, oh, I didn't want to frog it. But I may end up doing it and using this piece for something else, like an ornament or something. But I'd like to get some more of that done. This is, um, what is this? I think this is a, I thought I had the tag in there. But... Here it is. I got the thing right here. This is Mirage Lugana 28 count 
18 by, or 17, 17 by 20. You don't even know how big it is. But it's 28 count Mirage. Look on about, I guess, picture this plus. But I'm telling you, I don't use 28 count that often anymore, but it's okay. It'll work. And my last whip that I have that I want to work on is when I started on uh, Stitch Mania. Not last, I don't think it was last year. I think it was the year before. And it's Salem by Verbena. I have several of her patterns. I really like them. But I didn't get very far on it. This is on just some... I don't know what this is on. This looks like a, some kind of even weave. 28 count. It's kind of a thick one. That's as much as I got finished on it. So, that's all my whips that I want to work on this month. As far as uh, dark arc silver stitching. And I have several that I want to start. So, I'm going to get to those here in just a moment. I bought these, these uh, little folders too from uh, Amazon. So... You know, I've got these I bought from Amazon, which you can't even get these anymore. But I have a bunch of these, too. Because I have a bunch of sales. I have a whole bin full of stitch-alongs. Mystery stitch-alongs that I started in the, you know, in the last few years that I never finished. And uh, I'm trying to decide whether I'm going to abandon some of those. Because I may end up abandoning some of them. Because some of them I'm just not really sure anymore. And here is my new starts. This is one that I really love, and it's by Blackbird Designs. It's Raven Bewitched. I do have the call for threads for that, and I'm doing it on uh, 32 count Queen Anne's Lace. That's what I want to do, because I think it looks kind of similar. I think this down here is probably a little grayer, but you know, you never can tell by the picture. And I got this in a, uh, I think it's Victoria's Crafty Craft bag about last year. <laughs> spiders. I hate spiders, but I love like little pictures of spiders or like bags with spiders on it and cross stitch with spiders on it. Who knew? Okay, here is, this is for the stitch along. It's not really dark, but I got, I uh, can't remember who's doing it, but I'm sure I can figure it out. Hardest Delivery by Plum Street Samplers. And I ordered the Victorian Motto conversion that was that she made. And I'm doing this on 40 Count Country Mocha. So they're starting that today. That's a new sound. That's a new sound starting today, I do believe. So I need to get busy on that. And here's another one from our sale. This is from uh Leslie Hurley, Fat Cast, Flo Fat Cast, Cat Flossing. Can't even talk. I never can talk. This is a praiseworthy design. Now this one, I just got this one kitted up. I am doing this uh, on my own conversion. This is I'm doing this on Queen Anne's lace also. This is uh, the Halloween one. It calls for. Uh, Weeks Dye Works, Raven, Purple Majesty, and Sweet Potato. Well, I didn't want to buy eight skeins of Raven. So, I'm using, you know, of course, the conversion is 310 DMC. I'm using Anchor 8403, Anchor Black. And I'm using, for the purple, this is uh, Victorian Motto. Shades of purple. And for the purple, I mean the the orange I'm using pumpkin bread by Victorian Motto. So, I think that's kind of what they look like, so I'm hoping that they will look okay. But you know, I'm sure it'll be good. Anyway, that's for this one. Back in here, hopefully. <laughs> That's not told these bags. Some of them are kind of small. I mean, some some of the, the bags are small, 
but they're not too bad. I can still get those zipped up once I get them in there, right? And here is my bag I got from Garon Tote Bags for Halloween stitching. This is the first one and only one I've got from him. I like them though. So eventually I might buy some more. This is another one from Lila Studio that I got. And I got the call for threads and fabric for it. And it's never more. Love that. And it calls for, I think it's Felspar. I think that's what it is. Yeah, Felspar, 40 count, Newcastle linen. This is the picture this plus. So I'm really excited to get that started. Now it's going off on that side. It's because of the way I got my shirt kind of tucked in the back, trying to keep them going off my shoulder. Now it's going to go off the other side. That's fair. Can't win for losing. Sorry for all the crinklies. And this one is from Michelle Ink Designs. Quaker Gone Poe. And I'm using the call for fabric and thread for that. I have Quaker Gone Haunted. I don't have the thread for that. And I have and also have Quaker Gone Tropic, which I yeah, you saw that if you looked at my sampler. My sampler parade. They're all like that. I printed up a couple of the pages right here that's so I can mark them. So that is all my presumed whips for the month. I want to uh, work some more of my, my son's girlfriend's daughter-in-law, whatever you want to call her, her sampler. Get some more of it done. Here's the acrostic for, uh, oh, that's not it. But anyway, I printed up the one for October. And I printed up, uh, you know, the sheets for that. Uh, I'm going to try uh, to uh, participate in the 24 hour hours of cross stitch on this coming weekend. And I'm also going to try to do the Magical Stitches homework this week. So we'll see. We'll see how I get on that. Whether And I'm going to try to do it to see if I really want to get into all that. Here is a little bit of haul I got. I did buy one pattern. This is a Scarlet House Autumn Alphabet. The rest of these are just my clubs. This is my limited edition by uh, Victoria Motto. Her threads are just gorgeous. The first year I was in, this is like the third year I think I've been in her club. I got a lot of thread. Look at this cool green. Uh, I got the, the primitives. And I've been getting these ever since, so I don't know which ones I like the best. I like that orange. Also, I want to shout out uh, to Miss Selma from uh, Stone Street Stitch Works. Someone had told her that I talked about her design last month on, uh, I mean, on my last vi uh, video, and uh, she contacted me and she uh, gifted me that pattern that I hadn't bought because it wasn't on sale. It went off sale, and I hope she doesn't mind me telling, yes, you know, saying this, but. Uh, you know, I really appreciate that, and I am uh, definitely going to get that started. Um, right now, I'm trying to get it kitted up. I don't. I haven't decided whether I'm going to try to buy thread for it or. There's only two um, general arts, I think it is. The rest of it's DMC, so I may uh, just uh, find some different overdots for those two uh, colors, and then uh, and then start working on. But I got to decide on the fabric too, so I just. But I've got some enough fabric, I'm sure I can find something. And here's my coloring cotton. 
and this is called Sterling. And I'll get this in 40 count or 40 yard. I am in the um, needlework, uh, not needlework, but uh, needlecraft corners, Baker's Dozen, and I got got it, but I can't remember which one it is. And uh, so I think I put it up by accident. But uh, she's got her new one out for next year, and I think I'm going to. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get that next year. I love it, but I've got enough fabric for now. So, and this is my color and cotton threads. So that's all my haul. That's all my whips. That's my dark, dark October stitching that I'm planning on doing. And uh, my summary for for. Uh, September. Now, I'm not really sure what I'm going to work on during the 24 hours of cross stitch. I have to decide uh, which ones or if I'm going to try to just like bang something out, which I, there's a possibility. I know I should be working on some dark October stuff. I was thinking about trying to finish it with my daughter-in-law's uh, sampler. I read, whenever I'm doing something like that for somebody, it really bugs me to get it done. That's why I don't like stitching for other people because I just want to work on that one until it's done. That's, you know, which is good in a way because then I, you know, I get them done. Yeah, but I don't do that very often. But I'm thinking for, um, for November and December, I'm going to start, of course, getting, I got some Christmas things ready, you know, I'm getting together. But, uh, I do want to work on my, my, uh, Weinberg sampler. I really got to get busy on that because I really want to get that done before the end of this year. So, and it's quite a bit of stitching left on that thing. So, I don't know. If I got to do all these things I'm planning on doing, I may not have a chance. But when I'm going to do my best, that's for sure. So, anyway, I want to thank everybody for all their comments and all the new subscribers I've got. Once I get to 800, I'm going to do a giveaway. I'm not really sure exactly what it's going to be. But it's going to be something like uh, a gift card or a gift, gift certificate from a shop, uh, either Etsy shop or 123 Stitch or something like that. Since my husband is a smoker, um, I would, you know, I'm sure most people would prefer something that's, you know, that doesn't come from a smoking household. So um, I'm going to do that. I just haven't decided on exactly what shop and what amount I'm going to do, but I'm going to do it. Once I get to 800, I've gotten uh, up a few this last week since I put my sample parade up. I don't know that anyone's shouted me out or anything, but I know that I've gotten, you know, a few more than I had been getting, but, you know, I hadn't really been putting videos up that much lately, so. But anyway, I just wanted to touch base with you tonight and let you know uh, how everything's going. I'm going to make another video uh, maybe next week, maybe in the middle of the month. I'm not really sure yet. It just depends on how much stitching I get done and uh, if I get any more finishes. I do have a couple little ornaments I want to do, you know, Halloween ornaments, and uh, I might start working on one of those because they're fast and, you know, fast, easy to get them done. So, anyway, y'all have a good night and have great October stitching, and I will talk to you soon.